Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. Today I want to go over the Merchant Search or Brand Search module within Merchant Former. So when I was building up my account, one of the techniques that I like to use was to go through some of the top brands and see what they were selling. Because if they were selling something, it means the niche was hot and then I could probably come in and release a better product. So you may be familiar with this list right here which is some of the top selling brands on Amazon. As you can see, top brands and then A through Z. So let's say you're coming through this list and you see a brand that's got more than one shirt. Babu Baza. Let's take this for example. You're looking at this brand and you want to see what they're selling right away. So you'd come to the search merchant. You'd enter the brand in here. Now you could search more than one brand at a time by clicking add search field. But for now, we're just going to do a single search and click search. Now this could take up to 20 seconds. It really just depends on how fast the software can contact Amazon and get a response back. So let's just wait for this to finish. So once it's finished, you're gonna see the top 100 best selling shirts from this brand ranked by sales rank or BSR. The lower the BSR, the more product is being sold per day. The general rule of thumb is if something is around 100,000 BSR, the product is probably selling about one per day. The more experience you get with merch, the better you're gonna understand what sales rank correlates to how many sales. So that's the main thing I'm looking at. As you can see here, it's going to list all the products, the ASINs, the price, the feature, the description, and the sales rank of their top 100 selling shirts. These are gonna be ranked by sales rank. So let's say you're going over here, you have a few different options on the right here. You can add to favorites. You can do a quick copyright check through Trademarkia. You can, let's say this image is something that you actually created, and this is a pixel by pixel copy, right? You could report this to Amazon. This tool is meant to find inspiration. We don't, we don't want people copying, so this is why we imported this into the tool. Or you could do a quick competition check on the exact title within Amazon here. Let's just say you want to add it to favorites. You could add that one to favorites, scroll down. But as you can see, the sales rank on these are not too good. This brand is not selling very well on Amazon. But let's say you really like this design. You want to add to your favorites. You click there, you add to favorites. You'd pick a, let's say we wanted to send this to one of our designers, so we could send it there. It would be added to the favorites. And then we could come back up here and search for a new brand as we're going through and creating our lists.